What up, world? This is your boy Sky, broadcasting live. Back at it again with a continuation of a vegan, my a personal vegan journey. So where we left off as, I was just saying, I just started two and a half years ago being a vegan. You know, I was already into holistic health and working out, fitness, and then like. I noticed my mentor, who, Mike, who his name is Mike Rasheed, he does supplements, has a gym, uh, professional bodybuilder, you know, has children and stuff, you know, plant-based guy, he went plant-based, and I noticed uh, a, a large, like, improvement, like, in his health, you know, he already was, he already is extremely healthy, and then with the improvement, I'm like, whoa. I need to get on this stuff, like this plant-based life. So that inspired me because I was like, man, you know, I'm looking to patch up some areas of my life, you know, get my love life right, you know, with the ladies and everything, get myself right first. That's what this taught me. It's teaching me to get myself right first, ourselves right first. And, you know, like, I did that, and I, I began being a vegan, alternating, you know, going one day being a vegan, one day without, one day with being a vegan, and I will alternate days, you know, as my discipline was improving, as I became more in tune with the vegan life, finally I was able to, for real, let that animal stuff go for good. It was definitely a, a small, short process, but I've weaned it out, you know, for real, for real, and like, just with my research and studies and everything, I got connected with, you know, Dr. Sebi, Ralph Schmart, Infinite Waters, and some more people in the vegan community. But those, it's like a handful of, you know, brothers and sisters out there that really serve as catalysts in our life, and personally for me as well, to inspire me to go on this voyage, you know, and like, yeah, I'm just a chill guy. I always, I know it's like ever since, all throughout school, I was always like a dreamer, chill guy, like sports, well-rounded, love being outside, playing basketball, riding a bicycle, swimming, swimming, sports, everything outside, you know, which was cool. And then I noticed, you know, obviously we're getting older, we're going to school. A lot of it's pretty boring. You know, then it comes time for work and further college education. I'm like, wow, what is this? I'm not going to be, I'm not, you know, I'm going a different way. I have a, I feel a calling, a different calling from the universe, you know, because I'm up here just loving holistic health, working out the gym, love life, you know, meditation, all that stuff. And I'm like, what has this world turned to, you know? So I really related with this whole vegan message because the people that I was inspired by, older mentors, Dr. Sebi, etc., you know, like, I'm like, wow, they on a vibe that I can really relate to, you know? So that's why I stayed plugged in to it because, to be honest, man, I had, it took me 20 years to find out to be honest, it really, the dots weren't connecting, I didn't understand it, it didn't synchronize, whatever. It didn't get through me until 20 years. Obviously, I knew up until I went vegan that, of course, fruits and vegetables are healthy and everything. But, like, the line doesn't really connect. Like, uh, it didn't connect for me until 20, you know, um, until, like, after I was out of high school and some college. And that was mainly because health, health reasons, to be honest with you. Like, I know a lot of people, they're like, oh, yeah, I do it for the animals, the animals, the animals. That's cool, you know. They benefit as well. I'm just saying, personally, I, the, what sparked me personally, to be real with y'all, is health concerns. I'm overcoming an inguinal hernia, you know, where the lower part of my abdomen was so swollen swollen and like inflamed, you know, clogged up, blocked up with so much just puss, fat, mucus, plaque, 
you know, God knows what else. I was 250 pounds, and I was still working out every day in sports and football, basketball, everything. I didn't stop. There was, I wasn't a type of guy just to laze around. I put on everything, every year of my life. That every year of my life, like I always have been involved in some sport or recreational activity. Every year, for real, something, you know, some type of it, whether it's the bicycle, swimming, soccer, baseball, football, these little camps, you know, to go to play capture the flag and ultimate frisbee and all that stuff, running, everything, mixed martial arts, all that stuff, always been consistent with that because I'm aware we're supposed to stay healthy, you know, obviously. And, you know, I just enjoyed that, you know what I'm saying, like just kind of in a fun way. And then it's just like you start leaving from school and you start saying what's up with the world, you know, you're like, wow, there's all these different lanes. It's like one lane, it's like, oh, you got to be a tough guy. You gotta sell out, you gotta be a tough guy, you know, you gotta do some hard time, like, all this, this evil, you know what I'm saying, mental slavery, so I'm like, oh, I don't fit in there, then the other side was like, oh, corporate jobs, corporate people, you know, people real uppity and stuff that, they ain't trying to dive deep at all, you know what I mean, they for sure are not trying to dive deep at all, they not, they shallow swimmers, for real, and they're, what, Oh, you need a four-year degree, you need a four-year, you need a two-year degree, you need this, you need that, all this stuff. I'm like, wow, you know what, then, it's obviously different sporting leagues and stuff, and I'm like, wow, I mean, I know anybody can, I know, they say anything's possible, this and that, cool, all right, I'm just saying I'm choosing to just do sports and stuff, you know, when I desire, as I desire know with the creative lifestyle around it because personally it doesn't resonate with me to always be competing and sprinting around being screamed at told what to do by nobody you know no coaches no people no players none of that stuff you know so that's you know i leave that to michael jordan and them you know what i'm saying that's their thing i have plenty of experience with the sports you know i'm just Basically, a holistic health guy, guru, coach, be real with y'all. So, yeah. And, you know, I'm like, man, what am I going to do? Then I started getting, you know, I stayed tuned in with bodybuilding and everything. I'm super big. I'm continuing where I left off. So, I was, I was getting super big, you know, from bodybuilding, hitting the gym so much for years. You know, protein shakes, going to different fitness expos, buying all the supplements, everything, working out all day, every day, multiple times a day. I'm talking about for years. Getting big, you know, and doing a lot of cardio too. For all the people talking about, oh, we well, need to do cardio, you need to do cardio. I was, I have, I do, and I've done, for real, a lot of, a lot, you know. And it still wasn't happening for me, you know? Like I knew there was some blockages and I didn't know how to get to the source of it because I'm going to these bodybuilding, supplement shops, nutrition shops, and what are these people saying? Oh, have chicken, have rice, have beans, you know? Have also maybe a little bit of broccoli here and there, you know? And like, I was taking their advice and I had to learn the hard way, I guess. Well, it wasn't that hard, I guess it was just learning. You know, stepping stones, whatever you want to call it. But it did. Obviously, none of it connected until my mentor. I found my mentor did, and I was like, yo, this brother actually is like on a reliable type of vibe that I can actually, it's very transparent type of vibe, you know? So, <laughs> I chose, I'm choosing to continue the vegan lifestyle, you know? And now I'm a new, newer man, you know, making love better now, you know what I'm saying? Feels great, you know what I'm saying? Feels real great. Finally, finally, you know what I'm saying? Finally. So, yeah.
I, the main purpose for me going vegan was health concerns. All of a sudden I got the hernia, which is like where at the bottom of our stomach, our abdomen, there's like little sectors that lead to our genital area and stuff like that. But above that, before then, like the bottom of our stomach, there's like a different canals and walls, you know, to keep our intestines and stuff like intact and alignment you know, within, and like, apparently there was like a bulge, like a tear, a small type tear, like, I had a little pain there, because I had been working at a moving company, and of course, where we even, we're eating all types of junk, you know, Dairy Queen, burgers, fries, water burger, you know, canes, chicken fingers, ice creams, all this stuff, crap, junk, we were all fat and sloppy and out of shape, and very, just, Sick, you know what I'm saying? And like, we get it done, we start doing it, you know? We start getting it done, like, we start getting it done. And over time, that was working out plus a terrible diet. For so many years, I was taking a toll on my body, and I was 250 pounds. I have pictures of it, I have pictures of the sur post-surgery too, I was big, you know, lifting a good amount of weight, you know, in the gym, but still not able to perform at my optimum level, you know, especially I noticed that sexually as well, you know, I'm not the type to just be lustful and say it's all about sex, but to be honest, you know, it's confidence, it's just health and well-being overall, you know, throughout your whole body, and that was a big thing that I noticed for me, is I was feeling very, you know, miserable sexually, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I'm being real vulnerable with y'all, because I'm sure those other people can relate, you know? I know Dr. Sebi can relate, you know, homo, you know, like, saying, overcoming impotence and stuff like that. It's true, you know, our body, it's, it's circulation. We gotta have good circulation, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so... I chose to do that, you know, for health reasons, first and foremost, it was hurting, and we had to pass that up, and then slowly but surely, a few months later, towards the next year, that's when I went vegan, okay, for real, you know, I didn't even know about the vegan stuff like that, like, I heard here and there, but that's, like, when it really connected, you know, when I moved out after that whole surgery stuff, and I was like, man, I'm on my own, living on my own, paying my own bills, my own car, everything, you know, just doing what I'm supposed to do, you know, simple responsibility, not, you know, it's not super glamorous type living, I'm, I've always been the type on the internal, you know, dreamer, more sensitive, visionary, imagery kind of guy, I'm an Aries, you know what I'm saying, the bigger picture kind of guy, you know, chill, kind of got in my natural state, and like, you know, I started to connect the dots, and I started to visualize, like, truth, you know what I'm saying, they, they call it remembering past lives, I see that as well, you know, like, if once you start going vegan, you're literally stripping the layers of everything, like, before you go vegan, you're like the Michelin man, or the Michelin woman, you know, literally, you know, all these bags, all these layers, and we're going vegan, literally, you know, that's why sometimes it's amazing just to do one meal a day or eat once a day, you know, and even fasting and just juicing or whatever is great too because a lot of people are clogged up with all that dead weight, you know, toxic stuff inside of your intestines and body, you know, so even when you don't eat, when you fast for a little while, for a day or something, you're getting time to finally use the restroom to get rid of the rest of the junk inside of you, and it's not just a one-day quick fix, you know, don't go to Walmart thinking, oh, today is my first day being vegan, I'm going to have an orange, and have this one-day colon cleanse, detox thing, and boom, I'm going to be perfect, nope, 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 it's a process, because our body is consistent of what we eat, of our nourishment, of what we're consuming, so do the math, you know what I'm saying? If you've been eating toxic junk, garbage, for 60 years, 
And you have a lineage of family who's been continuing to do that for a very, 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 very long time. Then, you know, that's a lot of karma going the wrong way, you know, going the opposite way, going the reverse, you know, harming you. So obviously, it will take a lot of healing, you know, to get us back to strengthen, to revitalize, to recharge, to cleanse, to detoxify ourselves. You know, that's basically what veganism, veganism does, for real. With me, I just never fit in, ever. And two, I was like, man, I see the world in a whole different way. I would much rather, you know, come up with some cool ideas and just do it a unique way rather than hopping everybody, selling out, selling ourselves short, selling out for a contract, you know, of any sort, contract job, contract whatever. You know, for real, like, it just made more sense, makes more sense. I guess that's why I gravitated to these brothers, because I recognize that authenticity within them. I'm like, wow, these brothers are like chosen ones or whatever. Like, you know, I was so used to just the same old, same old professional sports, you know, seeing them complaining whenever the reporters ask them questions that they don't like, and seeing them you know, have this whatever celebration too sometimes when they win and seeing this mundane, you know, just all types of expressions, I guess. But I knew something was going on. You know, I knew deep down they weren't really diving deep all the way, obviously, on TV, on camera, you know what I'm saying? Because they're on contract and millions of people watching on TV. I don't know how all that stuff works, but I know they. I sensed out the vibes. It wasn't diving deep, like how, you know, because I guess that's how it is in the streets or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's not personal or anything. You know, they can do, they can live their life however they want. I just am a deep diver. And then on YouTube, when I came across Dr. Sabi and some other mentors, I was like, hey, you know, I'm actually having fun learning about this. This is like my own unique degree. You know, I feel like. Dr. Sabi's family needs to give out degree, or needs to award degrees for people going on this journey. Not even Dr. I mean, honestly, we can award ourselves our own degree, you know, but we'll be cool to find out about that. But I feel like this is the ultimate degree, your health, you know? Because guess what? Those same haters, or the same people who don't want to listen, who think you're lying about going vegan, who don't want to believe you, huh, guess what? Let's say 10 years down the line, they still, their hard-headed self went the complete opposite direction of you, even though they know you the truth. But they chose to continue staying out late, drinking heavy, working in the contract job, slave job that they hate, and eating junk food. And guess what? Let me guess, down the line, you won't, we won't even recognize them at all. You know, they'll probably be, you know, very extremely sick and that can't it, I'm just keeping it real to be honest with you I'm just keeping it 100% real with y'all you know I don't wish any of that on anybody uh, that was like the fan or something uh, or something outside but yeah I don't wish any of that on anybody I'm just saying like the truth is the truth. I'm saying from my own experience, you know. So if they want to go the opposite way, they don't want to listen to you. Down the line, I have a deep intuitive feeling that they are going to be coming back crying, wishing, you know, they chose to listen, you know. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Well, kind of is. It is. But we don't have to, like, stress out about it. Just, you know make peace with it and move forward to begin being vegan. That's what they gotta do. That's what I had to do. You know how many times I was like, man, coulda, shoulda, woulda type stuff where I was like, man, I wish, I wish, I wish. You know, like dragon tails. I wish, I wish with all my heart, you know, to fly with dragons in the land of park. You know, like, No, going back, obviously. That's my motto for going vegan. It's no going back. So, just as long as you start it, that's an amazing step.
step forward. That's how I'm seeing it. As long as you start it, that's an amazing step forward. It's your boy Sky, broadcasting live.